Hey guys, what's up? We're back with another video. I'm Kyle and this is Zach. Um, today, Zach, what are we going to be covering? Today, I went down to Harbor Freight and bought an ammo box from Bunker Hill Security. It says, and I quote, hold six to eight boxes of standard ammo, corrosion resistant bail latch, pre-drilled for padlock, lock sold separately, Not heavy <laughs> gauge polypropylene construction with a reinforced lid. All right, so basically this is your standard uh, plastic ammo can. Um, these are very affordable for the most part, uh, especially if you go to Harbor Freight. Uh, they do sell these there. They did used to sell them at Walmart relatively expensive, but I think they've went up a little bit since, uh, since it, well, inflation, everything's went up. What did you say you paid for this one? It's either $5.99 or $6.99. I'll have to pull up the pricing. Um, obviously, guys, there's several different ammo can options, but these are a really nice option. They stack really nice. They're not nearly as heavy as the steel ones, the military ones. I don't personally care for the steel ones. Um, I've probably got 10 or 15 just like this one, um, but it just really depends on how, how much ammo you're going to carry. You know, if it's really heavy stuff, you know, you could upgrade to something a little bigger, but for the most part, this is this is a good case. Yeah, and it depends on what your overall goal is with it as well. This this is a good can for me to throw some extra 22 I got and or some extra 9, head over to your house. We're just going to fire for the afternoon. This makes oh, it yeah. easy to carry. I can attach this to your four-wheeler pretty easily. We can just ride it up to the range, and then we go, you know, go shoot. Yeah, a nice thing about having ammo cans, guys, because you can see Zach's got his a lot of it nice and neat through here. The nice thing about having it in ammo cans, especially, is you can make it loose. That way, it's a lot easier to grab. It's more accessible. Um, for instance, like these here, you actually, when you're using them, you pull the tab back and you're dumping the amount of ammo you're trying to use, and you're trying to palm it and load your mag. When you've got it in here all dumped out, you can just grab it and quickly just do it. It's a lot more efficient, especially if you're, you know, limited on the amount of time you've got to shoot. If you're going to a gun range and you're paying by the hour or anything like that. Yeah, there's lots of reasons to use an ammo can. I mean, you can transport it in the box, you can transport it out of the box, you can transport it loose. Um, also, this thing, I think it has some level of water resistance because it's simply just a plastic can. It's not exactly watertight seals. It's not, not watertight, water but it if, if you set this out in the rain, it, it'd keep it dry. It's more watertight than this cardboard box is. Yeah, absolutely. It keep you, and it does, it preserves your ammo a little better too, especially what I, what I actually do, Zach, is uh, my ammo cans. You know the little, the little bags you get in a lot of things that, that keep it dry? Uh, they're beads. They, they tell you they're poisonous, so you're not supposed to eat them, right? The silica gels. Yeah, those. So I get a pack of those, and each one of my ammo cans, I put one in there. Because yeah. I let my ammo loose, but what it does, it keeps the moisture out of the box, and so it preserves your ammunition for a longer period of time. That's just a relatively good idea, as long as you don't eat the silica gel. <laughs> what? <laughs> exactly. Well, it also helps the corrosion, especially like with the 22s, the lead ends. Uh, if there's moisture gets to them, if you've been in any grandparents' 22 ammo, it's always like a, uh, almost a green, moldy looking color. And that's from moisture exposure. So you can limit that with these cans and save your ammunition in the long run. Especially if you just like to stockpile it. Uh, most people stockpile will run these and uh, uh, put those, uh, what are those pads called again? Silica gel. Silica gel pads in there. Uh, speaking of which, if you don't have any extra laying around you want to buy some i think msc direct sells them i think we buy them sometimes at work so, oh yeah but that's how people get them they can buy them in small packs they're relatively cheap um it, I've, i think it's a similar product that actually came with my dad's gun safe and they recommend storing those in there as well and every so often baking off any moisture that builds up inside to prevent any kind of moisture from building up inside the gun safe as well yeah, you know, now that you mention that, this is a little off topic of this, but it's to do with those things. Uh, so, this was a few years back. Um, I still had a, uh, the light duty steel gun case. One you bought at Walmart, like $150. And I had that before I had my big safe. And, uh, you know, I, I wanted to keep moisture out. And I was actually at Dollar Tree, believe it or not. And it was a it was a container about this big with the, the same material that's in there, but the water gets collected at the bottom. I put that in my safe for a month and it was halfway full and I, it had to have been four or five ounces of pure water that thing caught in my gun safe. So man, that's that's saving your guns, keeping them from rusting. So that's just kind of a tip. Um, things like that do preserve your, preserves any kind of metal really. Now, back to the ammo box though, what we can do 
is see how many of these boxes fit in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. you can like sort out a bit. You could probably do more, if, like you said, if you stored it loose. Yeah, yeah. But we can take a quick idea just to kind of show you all how big the actual product yeah, is. I, there, there's some people that really don't like their ammo loose. They like it night in the box, kind of like how Zach's got it here. Um, which it's nicer because you can keep count of your ammo a little better. Because uh, you can look at that nine millimeter and look at it and go, okay, one, two, three, four, five, 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 five four hundred or five hundred fifty rounds right there. It looks like it's ten by five and about six inches deep. So yeah, that that's like your pretty standard size plastic ammo can. That's your normal size, just so you know. Yep. Well, let's start with some nine millimeter. What do you think the best way to stack this would be? You can Will it fit like that? Not quite. It won't stack. Stack sideways. it the sideways way. It won't stack like this either. It's too long. Do it like that. Yep. That's how you'll stack it. And I bet you'll fit probably almost all that. Oh yeah, probably more. Yeah, it goes. This three is nine wide. millimeter, fifty round boxes. It goes three wide like this. Uh, if you got your phone, we can take a picture. Oh yeah, yeah, wide. yeah. Because mine's oh yeah. You want me to take a picture now? <laughs> Here we can tell we can at least store 12. I'm curious. Yeah, you can stack one more on the side like this. Oh, sweet. Or only one, so it'd be kind of loose. I don't know if there's a better way to do that. But if you just store it like this, you could easily fit 12 boxes. Only had 11 there. 12 times five. What is that? That's uh, six, 600 rounds total. Yep, so you can store about 600 rounds of box 9mm. Now, if this is loose, uh, probably even more than that. Um, but pretty pretty close, because that 9mm fits pretty compact in there. Probably another couple hundred rounds, if that. Now, with 12 gauge, I'm pretty familiar. You can actually fit about 100 rounds of 12 gauge in that, if you set it in there neatly. Yes. Now, the boxes, I don't think you can fit 100 rounds if you do the whole box in that one. There's 25 per box. It'd be... I don't think the box fits very well in there. Yeah. But we can check. Yeah, I'm very familiar because with the 12 gauge, because the boxes I've got, I've got 100 rounds in each one. Because before COVID, you could actually buy a 100 pack of 12 gauge ammunition for 1988. 20 bucks, you could have 100 rounds of 12 gauge. And now it's double that. I priced it actually this uh, past week at Walmart. Just went up a lot, guys. Yep. If you are storing it in box form, you really only have about two. You can only really store 50. But there's a pretty wide gap here. Mm -hmm. It could honestly almost fit one of the 22s or 9s in this pad. Yeah, so you, you could definitely mix it up and get a little bit of everything. Yeah, if you, you can kind of get it to go sideways, but it flexes the box and probably and then it's not gonna it's not going to close properly. Yeah, that's correct. So, box demo. So for box demo, you can really only get about 50. Now for the 22 mini mag, I'm gonna. You could probably fit about a thousand rounds. Yeah, in there. let's see. Was there 100 per thing? Yeah. Well, no, actually, because they're in the little cardboard tube, I wonder if I can just slide the whole tube down. I bet you can. Yep, yeah. <laughs> you can. You can actually fit more because you can take the two tubes. And set them side by side mm -hmm. they fit in there and you can fit some loose ammunition in there yeah i'd say probably four more oh yeah no i meant like standing up oh yeah yeah because their length is so that's about 1400 rounds yeah, that's not bad but it also helps guys because it does have the ability to lock it so you know everyone's different about gun safety with their kids but um for the people that do prefer to lock things, you can lock your ammunition up. Um, or maybe you just have somebody you don't want getting in it. Maybe you've got a teenager that likes to hunt or go and shoot guns or something that you can keep them out of your ammunition stash. Even with 1,400 in here, carries pretty easily. This handle doesn't feel like it's going to give way or anything like that. Oh, yeah, that was something we didn't think about. How's it fit? Is it good and sturdy? Oh, yeah. Check it out. Check. Oh, wow, yeah doesn't have any flex. It's actually a very well-built little container for the money. For the money, if you're you know, just trying to store your initial ammo, 
it's not a bad idea at all. And it's got this little pre-drilled hole. That way you could use it for uh, for the lock. Yeah, for the lock. Now, uh, if you guys do want, uh, we'll have a link uh, in the description for the product. As well. Yeah, and if you guys want a more in-depth video of different types of ammo cans, ammo cans, um, we can we can do that. Alibaba. <laughs> <laughs> Any other Chinese websites? Alibaba. I've always wanted to order something off there. Never have. Uh, you're better off ordering from AliExpress. I've ordered stuff from AliExpress before. It, it is crap. I know that. It's Chinese crap. But the price is so cheap that it actually kind of makes it worth it. Also, guys, you are going to want to stay tuned. Uh, in the next next little while, we're going to have some pretty cool uh, special videos coming up. So make sure you're, you're staying tuned. Yeah, make sure you're subscribed. We'll be doing a lot more beginner videos uh, for things like my first ammo can, my first gun cleaning kit, uh, what to do if your first gun malfunctions, what a good first gun could potentially be. Yeah, because there's right now there's currently not a whole lot of uh, those type of beginner videos. The only real beginner videos that I've seen a, more a lot of is what you should buy for your first firearm, and that's a very... Uh, interesting topic but well it's a very personal topic for a lot of people exactly so that that's something that uh, we could talk about all day so <laughs> yeah and we'll discuss you know whether or not it makes sense for you if your primary use is home defense or hunting you know i mean it mm -hmm. it all kind of maybe you just want to look cool yeah. yeah if you want to look cool or maybe you've watched too many youtube videos and you buy yourself an ak or something like that yeah or you play too many video games. maybe you want to train like john wick <laughs> it's yeah. all possible it is, and we'll discuss the right situation and the right gun for you. Stay tuned, and uh, like I said, we'll have links in the description for both our merch and this ammo can, and if there's any other products you'd like us to review, be sure to leave us a comment. Have a good one, guys. Have a good one.